Hello, another Mercs video, second edition, and this is EIC, the East India Company. Now, these were the first Megacon to implement the second wave of Mercs, um, and they were the first to suppress, suppress and resist a Sadafu attack after they went rogue, effectively. Um, that's basically it, other than they're based in India, as the name suggests. So let's start with the corporate traits. Simulation EIC can use other Mega Contact to make their mercs better if their EIC simulator is in the skirmish. Uh, two points to that. One, can use m other Mega Contact to make their mercs better. Yes, but not in the way you think. Two, if the EIC simulator is in the skirmish, that's not a good thing. <laughs> we'll get on to why later. Oh boy, it's not a good thing. Numbers, EIC start the skirmish with six mercs. Which... If they didn't, didn't have that corporate treat, I'd ask me, I'd ask what is the point of them. So, let's start with the leader. Initiative modifier of one, reaction of five, courage of five, movement of two, blood of two. Yeah, most models in this faction have got two health. There's two that have got three. But most, but the other eight have got two. Um, armor two, arm fairly six, interact five. So the kit semi-auto, two attacks, needing sixes, strength two, short, medium, long range, can't shoot in base range, attack and move. Which for semi-autos are minus one movement and plus two FN. So if you move and shoot with this guy, you can only move one, and you need eights. So EMP grenade, he's only got one of them. And once he's used it, it's gone. Uh, base short medium. Um, throw two. That's why it's medium card length. I don't know why, but my throat's really dry today. Uh, EMP template. Um, the template is that size. Apart from frag grenades, the templates are usually that size. Um, which is a bit of a shame because I'm going to have to make some more for different templates. But hey ho. Um, EMP, if a target is affected by an EMP grenade, their armour is automatically broken. Which, yeah. Can't complain at that. He's got a grenade that breaks your armour. Yeah. So, personal abilities. Inspiring. All members in short range, including this Merc, may re-roll one attack D10. That's alright. Nothing wrong with that. Um, re get plus one to the dice rolls, that's good, but V1 one tag D10, that's also good, that's also good, and considering how this faction works, I can kind of see some models being sticking close together, so yeah, I can see that, uh, last stand, if this Merc is the last member of his team alive, he gains Act 2, which it says there, this Merc gains an additional activation at Initiative 2, ignore this effect if the Merc's first initiative activation was one or on one or two so if you roll one or two you don't get this if it's the last bloke alive and um, if you roll six he gets to do something then when it comes to initiative roll of two he then gets to do something again so that's not bad that's not bad coming on to the heavy initiative mod five zero reaction of four courage of six movement of one blood of three armor of three Arm failure of 7, interact of 6. So his kit, he's got a full auto, which is short, medium, long range, can't shoot base range. Four attacks, needing 8s. Strength of 3, set and rip template. Uh, set and rip is you need to stand still to declare your setting. Um, the model can't move, can't turn 90, can't snap to cover. Can't do anything that's got any sort of movement. And if he's forced to move, like um, with the um, ISS Pulse Rifle, 
then he has to set again next turn if he wants to. And if you do set, the FN of the weapon is decreased by one for every turn after that. So, you know, that's not bad. Excuse me a moment. Just let me close the curtain there. Anyway, so yeah, um, the template is that. So even if you need eights, if you don't set four attacks at strength three, ain't bad. Personal abilities, tough as they come. This merc has one additional blood, this is applied. That's why it's got three health rather than four. Sorry, three health rather than two for this faction. Um, and then I see you if this merc is successful, successfully suppressed as a target. That target receives one attack which cannot be overwatched. That's alright. Gets one attack at strength three. Might need eight, but it's a free attack, nothing wrong with that. So coming on to the sniper, I like the rifle, I don't know why. Um, initiative mod 5, 0, reaction 4, courage of 5, movement of 3, blood of 3, armor of 1, um, armor failure of 5, reaction, interact of 6. Single shot, medium long range, um, can't shoot it at base or short range because it's you know, some sort of sniper rifle. Um, one attack, needing 4, strength 3, aim. Um, aim is, you de if you declare you're aiming with a weapon on one turn, on the, the shot afterwards, it's minus to FN, so in this case the single shot rifle would need fours, sorry it would need twos rather than fours, but every shot after that it need fours again. So coming on to, he's got a smoke grenade, which is based in short range, so only one card length. Throw one, which is a short range, smoke two, template, and the template for this is... You know, most grenades are like that, so... And smoke to place a smoke token at targeted location. If the template blocks line of sight between mercs, the attacking merc decreases the attack roll by 2. In addition, mercs within the template have their reaction increased by 2. This effect lasts for 2 rounds. So basically, if one model is there, smokes like there, and another model's there, that model would still be able to shoot him, but it'd be a plus two to hit modifier. So, personal abilities. Just focus there. Flesh wound, this merc ignores the first wound taken per skirmish. So, once per game, well, the first damage he takes per game, he ignores. A slight of hand, this Merc suffers no load penalty, he does not have to wait one round between attacks, this is applied. So, every turn you can fire one strength three attack, which is pretty good, or once every two turns, if you aim. So, needing twos once every two turns. Nothing wrong with that at all. One of probably the best models of this faction. So, next we have the demo. Um. Initiative mod 5, 0, reaction of 5, courage of 4, movement of 2, blood of 2, armor of 2, armor failure of 6, interact of 6. So, equipment, kit, uh, carbine, base, short, medium, so 2 card lengths, um, 2 attacks, needing 5s, strength of 2, attack and move, which for carbines is just um, plus 2 to hit, no movement penalty. Uh, and you've got two incendiary grenades, which is base short medium again, two card lengths. One attack at strength three, attack move, throw two, template burning two. Um, most grenades you can't move and throw them. With this demo and the. Um, there's two others, and I can't remember which two, but there's only two others that can act and move. Um, throw two is just the. Two card lengths. Yeah, you can move the two card lengths and then throw the grenade. Um, template, which for this is, yeah, just same as any others. And um, burning two lasts for two turns. And if I can find it. Um, if this attack is successful, the target's armor failure and courage rolls are decreased by one for two rounds. In addition, the target gains burning two token gains two burning tokens and is considered suppressed for two rounds. That's all good. And it's strength three, so 
it's like a smaller template but better effect frag grenade so personal abilities no one left behind this Merc may drag an adjacent team member with broken armor his remaining movement points as part of his movement this round which that's kind of funny because if someone's right near him he can drag them with one hand move along and throw the a grenade with the other hand <laughs> And then stay frosty, all of the team members in short range of this merc may re-roll their initiative. Which is also funny, because you can then tell the bloke, Oi, which way are you going? <laughs> Watch out for trouble behind. Which, that's pretty good. So coming on to next, the engineer. Initiative mod 5-1. Reaction of 4, Courage of 6, Movement of 2, Blood of 2, Armour of 2, Armour Failure 4, Interact 4. So, he's got a Carbine, same as the Demo's Carbine, nothing nothing different whatsoever. He's also got two Repair Kits, which base range, so you have to be base range of someone to use it. Act to move, so he can repair someone's armour, then move, or vice versa. And repair, just automatically repairs someone's broken armour. That's pretty much it for that bit. So, personal abilities, be careful, be very careful. If this merc is in the skirmish, he adds one no trap token to the trap supply, and team members in short range decrease their trap roll by two. Um, I would ignore he adds one no trap token to the trap supply because that's. that's That just adds a complication that's not necessary as far, can, far as I can see. Um, but the, that personal ability only works with when you're against Texaco. So his other one. Think about the future. If this merc takes the hold action, in addition to the bonus initiative modifier, he increases his next attack die roll bar one. Um, I'm pretty sure that applies to both the D10s for the carbine, not just one D10. Um, but again, it depends who you're playing against. They might say, oh, it only affects one, but I think it works on both. So, next we have the Breacher. So, initiative mod 5 2, reaction of 6, courage of 4, movement of 2, 2 blood, 2 armour, arm failure 6, interact of 6. So, he's got a carbine, so pretty much the same as everyone else has got a carbine. Uh, he's got 2 breach. Which can only use a base range, you know, because it's it's the gel he has to spray it on the wall or something. Uh, breach, Act 2. So Breach, Consumable, that's why he's going to got two. So once you've used one, that's it. You'll only have one left. Uh, this Merc places a Breach token over cover in base range of this Merc. And the template's a bit bigger than that. Not very big, you'll be able to do it pretty easy. If the breach token meets or exceeds the cover width, it is a success, so pretty easy to do. Discard one breach after use. And then Act 2. If the breach action is successful, this Merc gains an additional activation in Initiative 2. Ignore this effect if the Merc's first activation was on a 1 or a 2. So once you've blown a hole in a wall, you can do something when it comes to Initiative 2. Should be good. So personal abilities. Something wrong with the thing there? No, just me. Okay. <laughs> um, Doorman, all other mercs of this, all other members, sorry, of this mercs team in short range may increase or decrease their initiative bar one when the merc uses breach. Nothing wrong with that. It works pretty well. Um, but they, for this faction. I'd say it'd be a very mid, mid to late game ability to use, I'd say. An Eagle Eye, this Merc may re-roll one of his attack D10s each round, which is pretty good. A re-roll is not to be sniffed at. So, coming on to the Pathfinder. Um, initiative mod 5 1, reaction 6, courage of 8. Uh, movement of 3, Blood of 2, Armour of 1, um, Armour Failure of 6, Interact of 7, uh, Single Shot, so short, medium, long range. Um, it's basically the same as the Sniper's weapon, except it's lower strength, um, you can shoot at short range, and it's got Attack and Move, which is minus 1 movement, 
and plus two FN, so you can only move two and you need sixes. Most single shot weapons you can't move and shoot with, but these you can. And it's also got two caltrops, which can only be used in base range. Throw one, template trap. Um, yeah, it's only one card length, really. Um, and throw one, that's why it's... Well, I suppose it should be short range, but... It makes sense, actually. You're just dropping a load of spiky objects all over the floor. Uh, this, may, this trap stays in place until disarmed. Enemies moving within one card length of his token have their movement points reduced by one and suffer two blood. That can shut off a lot of um, pathways for opponents. You just put them down and then you, you just wait for your opponent to come where you want them. Which can be quite useful for this faction. Uh, Headhunter, this merc inflicts two blood on an unmodified roll of ten if the attack hits and then penetrates their target's armour. I wish it did three damage, you know. But hey, extra damage, pretty good. Uh, Hard-hearted, if attacking the target in no cover, this merc gains an additional attack d10. Basically turning it into a more accurate semi-auto weapon. Which is good, it's all good with that one, as far as I can see, a very defensive model. So, next one is the Booster, initiative mod 5 0, reaction 4, courage of 5, movement of 2, blood of 2, armor of 2, arm failure of 6, interactive 8. So, semi auto, same as the leaders, nothing nothing different. Enhancers, got 4 of them, can only use them in base range, so got to be next to someone effectively to use it. Uh, booster 2, adrenaline 2. Uh, booster 2 just mean it lasts for 2 rounds then adrenaline 2 if this merc is on the effects of adrenaline 2 that merc has his courage roll increased by 1, reaction increased by 2 and increases attack roll by 2 um, taking this one for example if you use adrenaline on himself for 2 rounds he needs 4s with the semi auto unless he moves which in that case he needs 6s um, does it increase reaction? Yeah, increases reaction by 2, so in this case it'd be reaction 6, which is pretty good. And courage of 4. Pretty good again. Nothing wrong with boosters. Um, you have to get them in the right place at the right time, but when they are useful. Good God, are they useful. Um, vault. This make, make perform move over ER1 cover, one base wide, at no movement cost. Um... So if the terrain's there and he's there, he can go one card length over. I know I'm over explaining it, but that's kind of it. Um, you want some, if this merc, sorry, this merc gains an additional activation immediately if he kills an enemy merc. This new activation has one movement point only. That's alright. Um, kill someone, use adrenaline on himself or someone else. If he gets to do that, that's alright. Boosters I tend to find of really good personal abilities. Coming on to the Shock Trooper. Unleash you mod 5 1, reaction 5, courage of 6, arm, movement of 3, blood of 3. Why? Everyone else has got 2 apart from the heavy. Uh, anyway, ar armor of 1, arm failure of 3, interact of 6. So it's got. Two machine pistol, I know machine pistol, sorry, I know it only says one, but one in that hand, one in that hand. Um, base and short range, two attacks, which really should be three in my opinion, but that's just me. Um, needing five, strength one, attack and move sweep, um, which for this weapon, weirdly enough, is minus one MP and plus one FN, so you can only move two and you need sixes. And the sweep means you can, you don't have to, but you can use it like that and get everyone in the template. It is only short range, but you've got movement three, so you've got options. It's also got one med kit, yay. Um, base range, so you've got to be next to someone to use it, unless you use it on yourself. And heal two, heals two damage, but once you've the med kit, it's gone. I suppose the ideal thing is use it on himself, the greedy bugger. Because if you use it on anyone else, 
chances are they're going to be dead. So, personal abilities. Move your ass after inflicting one blood. This merc gains one movement point immediately. Nothing wrong with that. If you're saying you're attacking and moving and just shoot, you've got to shoot and hit something, you've then got another three movement, which is good. And noticed, this merc does not activate suppression or overwatch if he begins his activation out of line of sight. Pretty decent. It just means you're moving where you want to more and you're not taking as much damage. Which is all brilliant. And then we come on to this guy. The simulator. Yeah, anyone who thought the Sada Kazar was a heavy was cra crap in first edition. Ain't got nothing on this guy. Uh, initiative mod 5 2. Reaction of 6, Courage of 5, Movement of 3, Blood of 2, Armor of 2, Arm Failure of 4, Interact of 3. So, Kit has got a Claw, 1 attack, base range, colors melee weapon, Strength 2, Melee 2, which is plus 2 to the dash roll, and Assimilate, which does Assimilate after an ERC member kills an enemy Merc. A tech token is placed where the dead Merc was removed. This Merc must... Remove within short range and pass an interact check to assimilate the tech. For each tech assimilated, each team member gains the next level of bonuses in addition to the previous bonuses. So tickers, techs assimilated one. So if you assimilate one tech token, arm failure is decreased by two. And if you've assimilated two, you get plus one blood. Which is nice, but that's all you've got. And you have to be short range to use it. And it gets worse. So <laughs> it gets worse. Base. So combat link. Base. Shut. As long as you want. MCP. Act and move. So. The MCP. This merc provides the assimilation bonus to each merc. Including this merc. If this merc dies. All bonuses from the, the assimilate. Are lost immediately. Um, Megacon, you've just ba you're basically just given the simulator a virus. That ability right there, I don't mind faction that tie a corporate ability to one or two models usually because the models can actually look after themselves or actually can do something they don't have to put themselves in line of fire this guy does it's good job he's fast and he's got armor too otherwise he's just <sighs> personal abilities civilian makes targeting this figure decrease their attack roll by one Oh, that's a good, uh, that's a good, good thing. Otherwise, yeah, you can tell I don't like this guy. Speedy, this merc has one extra movement point. This is applied. Ah, uh, now he's done. Thank good for that. So, as a faction, EIC, I think, have some good tricks up their sleeves. Um, yes, they're only blood two, but you get six models. So, your opponent's going to have to shoot at one more body, which is going to have problems. That is true. But, yeah, there's a point to take the assimilator to get those extra stat boosts, but there really should have been either more stat boosts or give everyone free blood. You know? Having that the assimilator is just it's just a waste I'm, I I really don't see the point of the assimilator whatsoever um, but again that's just me if you play at EIC you might find a use for him um, I'd say not having a medic hurts this team but as they've only got two health each 
it probably would have been a waste. Um, it's a shame the engineer hasn't got three med kit uh, repair kits rather than just the two, but that, that's helpful. Um, the snipers a really good model, as is the heavy. Um, them two are brilliant. Um, all of them are pretty good, apart from the assimilator. The assimilator is just a lead weight they do not need, or <laughs> he he's better than his one point nine counterpart, but only because that had the armor one. Other than that, he's just worthless. Um, they aren't a beginner faction. That much is evident, but they are a good faction. They are a good faction. Um, if you've played Mercs before and want a second or third faction to play as, these aren't a bad idea if you want something a bit more sneaky, a bit more challenging to use. Um, but you will get a lot out of them once you, if you use them right. And with that, that's it for that video. Goodbye for now.